Hi, and welcome back to the arcade in Sydney Street. Today I'm introducing you to a very dear friend of mine who has a shop in here, who is going to tell you all about her shop, Richard Ombreka. He has amazing things to tempt the appetite of everyone who wants to collect and invest at the same time. So Richard, I'm going to let you inform all our friends out there as to what you have you and what's ready for sale. So I'll leave it to you. Talk to you later. So I'd like to thank you Ian for that wonderful introduction and here we are in my shop, Raker UK. Uh, we're in the heart of Chelsea in the fantastic Bourbon Ambi Antique Arcade. I'm going to be introducing you today to some fantastic pieces, really nice decorative items but as Ian mentioned great for collectors, also as investment pieces. Some of these can be really great focal points in your home, nice pieces of decoration, talking pieces for guests and family alike. So here's the first fascinating little piece. And what we have here is a fantastic little silver tooth. Now what it actually is, is a whiskey shot glass. Inscribed we have the words, just a toothful, which as I'm sure you can appreciate, is just enough to, to get you going a bit warm. Now what I love to think of is all the, the fine silversmiths who used to make this, working from their studios in Regent Street. And it's not hard to imagine a group of young men all huddled over their benches, fingering away, getting these pieces made day in, day out. A lot of you may like hunting or outdoor pursuits and sporting related items. Well, this truly is one of a kind. A lot of people like hunting and sporting goods and I'm sure that everyone here really, really likes large jugs. So now I'm gonna show you one of the largest jugs you're ever gonna see. And here we are. Now this is an absolute monster. Um, one of a kind, made by Henry Albink and Slater. Sterling silver and dated 1903. The work is absolutely fantastic. You see the running fox on the top, you have the hounds, and on this side you have the huntsman. A truly spectacular piece. And one part about it that I really, really do like is when you open the lid and you see just how fresh the gilding is inside. Now look at that, that's about as fresh as the day it was ever made. Absolutely stunning. What's also fun about this is that you get the opportunity to fill it with wine. And what's better still is you get the opportunity to empty the wine and drink it. Chin chin. So I hope you like seeing those fascinating pieces that I've just shown you. Um, we're going to take a step next door now into my other shop and we're going to talk about some of the fantastic Louis Vuitton trunks we have here. I'll see you there. Right, so here we are in my other shop. Um, as you can see, I'm surrounded by some fantastic Louis Vuitton trunks. You may not know, but Louis Vuitton, the house, was actually founded in 1854. Um, of course, it continues to this present day. And we've got a selection of trunks here ranging from about the 1880s up until about the 1920s. So what you'll see is the Louis Vuitton trunks come in a fantastic array of shapes and sizes. Uh, you've got your fantastic coffee table size, something like this is at the end of a bed, and then you've got your nice side table size as well. By the way, don't worry about the hippo, he's fully house trained, he's not going to attack the video or anything like that. Now the trunks, they range in prices, they go from about £8,000 and head upwards. They can go up into the tens of thousands of pounds of course depending on rarity more than anything else. Size doesn't always relate to price. Some of the small ones can actually be a lot more than the large ones, just down to rarity more than anything else. You'll also see some fantastic objects just sitting behind me. Um, these large silver things we've got just here, these are Japanese military Second World War binoculars. Originally they would have been, a, been on a battleship, but now as you can see, I hope, on a brand new tripod mount there. Pre-radar, so perfect working order, and you'll probably see about 80 to 100 miles out of these. Again, fantastic decorative objects, but useful as well if you've got a nice high-rise apartment, a great view from your property, all that type of thing. Right now, I often get told that uh, my shop, it seems like it's a lot of toys for the boys. So because of that, I do like to have a lot of items for the ladies as well. Aside from the antiques, um, we often do some very, very nice handbags. I'm sure you're going to recognise this piece as soon as I show it to you. It's a fantastic Hermes alligator Birkin bag. This particular one is brand new, uh, about three months old. Brand new in box, I should say. Comes with all the bells and whistles. I have to use the glass because it's such a precious piece. And here it is. As you can see, it's a, a white Mississippian crocodile, sorry, alligator Birkin bag. 35 centimeter size with gold hardware. Absolutely stunning and unused. 
Um, they used to have waiting lists, but not anymore. If you're one of the few lucky ladies on the planet who can get these, then you are indeed blessed. We have these on occasion only around consignment, um, so we never really know what we're going to get next or when we're going to get them. But rest assured, we always get fantastic pieces. So, something for the ladies. Richard. Yes. So what have you been telling the public about all these magical things that you have in here? Well, we've been going through some fantastic pieces. Um, very rare pieces, luxurious pieces, collectibles, investment pieces. I hope they really enjoyed having a look at what I have. And uh, yeah, I'd like to welcome you to the store in Chelsea at any time. We're here seven, sorry, six days a week now, actually. And it'd be great to see you. With his white gloves, Indeed. little mittens, <laughs> so he doesn't damage you or anybody else. So, take it all in. Enjoy the video. I hope you have fun watching it and listen to what Richard has told you. Like all my other tenants, we'll be visiting you again. So, goodbye from Richard and goodbye from me. Have a lovely time. Bye.